Okay? And now I'm going to take you through the next module, which is called Introduction to Software Engineering. Welcome to the presentation on Introduction to Software Engineering. This is the second module in the three-part series on introduction to software. In the first module, we looked at what is software, why software is important to businesses, and how softwares can be classified into various categories. In this second video, we are going to talk about software engineering, which is a way to develop software. My name is Ellen Mishra. I'm the principal trainer at Adaptive US. And we created this three-part simple introduction to software because we believe that some of our students, and there could be many others, who are completely unaware of software, software engineering, software development methods, software terminology, and this would help them to get going very, very up in their aspiration to become a software developer, a software engineer, or a business analyst. Now, what is software engineering? Let's take a look at the definition provided by IEEE. Application of a systematic, disciplined, quantifiable approach to the development, operation, and maintenance of software. That's what we are trying to do. Okay, Develop, operate, and maintain. And that's the application of engineering to software. And the method should be systematic. That means there is a planned way of doing it. Disciplined, following the right discipline. And quantifiable. That means there is a way for us to measure what we are trying to do. Are we going in the right direction or not? And typical software methodologies contain four things. One is, of course, a quality focus, which means we want to build a great software, we create something called process model. That means we understand how to make good software. Then we create methods, which are very detailed instructions on how to write right code, how to write the right requirements document, how to write the right test case. And of course, we use tools, uh, because tools have become very pervasive, and tools can help us to do a lot of things. So the software process. A process is a collection of activities, actions, and tasks that are performed when some work product is to be created. Okay, So a process tells you do task one, do task two, do task three, and then you will be able to reach your objective. So there is a four-step generic approach which we generally follow, and let's take a look at that. First is to understand the problem. Why are we trying to build a software? Obviously, there is a need to fulfill. And say, for example, as a company, we do manage our training function. We have a lot of students. So far, we have more than 5,000 students coming to us. And obviously, it's a big number, whether the students completed the program, they completed the certification. These are things that are interest to us. What are the type of problem that they are facing? what kind of ways we can help them. So first thing, what are we trying to achieve? So obviously, this is what we call it as business requirements. And a lot of you will hear this term when we take you to the business analysis program. And obviously, um, what are the features that we need to implement? What kind of data we need to capture? All that we need to understand. And also, we should find out ways can this problem be broken down? Because if you can break down the problem, it becomes easier for you to solve. Can you represent the problem graphically? Because pictures can give you a lot of hint. Okay, What can be improved can be very visually seen using graphically designed diagrams. Then once we understand the problem, we need to plan the solution. That's the second step that we need to follow. So we say what kind of resources may be required, how much time it may be required, what kind of cost may be required, what kind of infrastructure may be required. These are all part of planning the solution. And many people study this subject in great detail when they wish to become a project manager. 
then of course we need to carry out the plan we have understood the problem we have created a plan then we execute the plan so in the execution stage we are writing programs we are designing architecture all that we are doing as part of carrying out the plan typically in a software world we call it as design and code so design is to kind of create a blueprint and code is to actually write the instructions which the computer can understand so once the plan is carried out the fourth step is to examine the result the output the product is it solving my problem is it working well okay has it captured the data that i wished it to capture is it providing me the insights that i wanted okay so this is what we call it as test phase and of course test can be multiple rounds sometimes starting at a component level which we call unit test sometimes sometimes between components we call it as integration test sometimes to test the entire system we call it as system test then we give it to our end users we call it as user acceptance test so there are various types of testing that we do and maybe that's something a nice video i can make on a concept called sdlc software development life cycle thank you for watching this video um, i hope you are enjoying this video if you have any feedback on the video please write to us at info@adaptiveus.com thank you so much